Hey, welcome back guys. This is Jason, KM4ACK. Today, I want to cover a few of the basic Linux pitfalls and how you can avoid them. Stick around and we'll get right to it. Real quick before we get going today, I've got to give a shout out to these guys. They're my latest patrons over on Patreon. If you'd like to help support the channel, I'll leave a link to Patreon down in the description below. So over the last week or so, I have gotten at least three different emails uh, from various operators, all having pretty much the same theme. Uh, they're either winding up in the wrong directory on their uh, Raspberry Pi or they can't access a directory at all. So I'm going to take just a couple of minutes and cover a few of the basic pitfalls uh, and maybe a few commands that you're unaware of if you're new to the Linux operating system. And hopefully it's going to help you guys avoid some of those pitfalls. Let's go ahead and jump over to the Pi and dive right into it. Okay, so one of the big issues that I see uh, from guys just moving over is they try to do something like this. They will run a CD command and they want to move to the desktop directory. So they enter CD space desktop and they hit return. And it tells them that there's no such file or directory. Well, the reason is, is we spelled desktop with a lowercase d as the first letter. If you just entered, uh, spell it right there, capital D E S K T O P, then it'll move right to the particular directory. So Linux is case sensitive, and you have to make sure that you get that correct in order to wind up in the correct file or the correct directory. Another good little command to know is PWD or print working directory. Any time uh, that you're in, on the command line and you run PWD, it will tell you specifically what directory you're in. So as you can see here, I'm in Home Pi Desktop. Now, there's also an indicator right here on uh, at, at the prompt. You see this little tilde command right here, or tilde sign rather? That tells you that you're in your desktop. So if we did this command, which would move us to our root directory, you'll notice that the tilde is missing now. So we're no longer in our home directory, but we're in the root directory. Now, at any time uh, to get back to your home directory, you can type a couple of different commands. CD will work. And that brings us back to our home directory. You can see that right here with the tilde key. Let me move back to that root directory for just a second. Another command you can run is cd space tilde. And that will also move you back to your home directory. Now let me go ahead and clear that screen. And we're going to uh, run the pwd command that shows that we're just in our home directory. Now, another uh, good command to know is ls, or Lima Sierra. We run that, and it will give us the contents of the directory that we're currently in. Uh, so here you can see that desktop directory that we moved into just a minute ago. You'll also notice that we have a directory called bin. Well, there's multiple bin directories on your Linux system. So if we do cd space bin, then that puts us in the bin directory that was listed right here. And we can again run that pwd command and you'll see that we're now inside of home pi bin. However, let me clear the screen again and I'm going to go back uh, to our home directory. Now, if you ever want to move backwards one directory, you can uh, use cd space dot dot. You have to put the space in there before the two dots or that command doesn't work. So that's kind of the thing with Linux. Every, uh, every character, including spaces, is critical to get correct. Now, back to the other example that I was uh, going to show you. You notice I did the cd bin and it moved to one particular directory. If we do cd space forward slash bin and I hit return, 
we are no longer in our home directory. If I do PWD, you'll see that it's just forward slash bin and we're not in our home pi bin directory. So it's real easy. The only difference uh, in that particular case was I put this forward slash in, in front of bin when I ran this command. That threw us into a completely different directory. Now, inside this, uh, this particular bin directory, this, uh, this one is owned by root. So if I try to run a command, let's say uh, I'm going to create a file with touch space test.txt, this command is going to fail. We're going to get a permission denied. And the reason we get that is the Pi user does not own this directory. Now, I'm going to move back to my home directory. This time, instead of using this forward slash bin, I'm going to move just to the bin directory. This one as you can see, now I'm going to run that PWD command and you'll see the difference. Earlier when I ran that, it just returned forward slash bin. This time when I ran it, I'm in my home pi bin directory. Now if I run that same command, touch space test.txt, and I hit return, you'll see that we do not get that permission denied error because we own this particular bin directory. So I know that it can get a little confusing at times, but hopefully this is going to kind of give you a few pointers that will help you avoid some of these pitfalls. Now let's clear the screen, and at any time you can just run the clear command to clear the screen. If I run the ls command again, you'll see that that test.txt file was created. And again, if we need to move back to our home directory, we can just run that CD and hit return. And we're now in our home directory as indicated uh, by the tilde sign right there. Or if we run PWD, you'll see that we're in home forward slash pi, which is our home directory. Okay, so let's quickly take a look at one more thing here. I want to expand on a command that I showed you just a second ago. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and move into the PyBuild directory. We'll run that PWD command so you can see our working directory. And I'm going to uh, list that out. And you'll see we have another directory here, Conky. So let's go ahead and move into that Conky directory as well. Uh, I'll tell you what, let me clear the screen there and do that PWD command again. Okay, so now you can see that we're in home pi pi build conky. So if you want to back up one directory, that's the command cd space dot dot. If I go ahead and re, uh, re hit the return key there, you'll notice that we just drop back to the pi build directory and not all the way back to our home directory. Now let's move back to that conky directory. Again, if we just run cd here and hit, uh, hit the return key, it will go ahead and put us back into our home directory. If you're brand new, I also have a Linux 101 class for ham radio operators, so it covers uh, a lot more about the command line. You can uh, rent that for as little as six bucks or purchase it for nine bucks. I'll leave a link to that down in the description below. Okay, so there's just a few of the very basic pitfalls that you can run into when you're just getting started with the Linux operating system. Hopefully this cleared up a few things and helps you avoid those pitfalls. We'll see you guys on the next video. Until then, 7-3.